I never imagined that there would be a moment in my life when I would need to share this with you. But with everything that is happening, I want to share the truth which I have kept in my heart for all these years and have not allowed it to show on my face. Yes, in this episode, I will show you scenes from my life that you have never seen or even expected. We know that there are people who launch their YouTube channels to earn money, but in our case, creating a YouTube channel actually lost all our money and savings. Yes, maybe this is the price that we have paid for loving India and for defending the truth. So what really went wrong? Well, the truth is that our work is truly independent. For us, it is a matter of pride and a blessing, but for our bank balance, it is a curse. Since we have always been independent, we never followed the narratives of others. We never supported any political party or got involved in India's domestic politics. We only pursued the path to the truth, and in that path, we criticized anything that we felt was wrong and supported what we felt was right. Yes, in an ideal world, our approach would sound very just and fair, but in the world that we live in, from the commercial point of view, this approach is not financially rewarding, which means that it can't bring mega sponsors or a lot of money. As a result, our India in Details project was forced to run only on my husband's savings and eventually, when his savings were exhausted, we ended up selling our beautiful golf course facing house. It was a very big decision and a big sacrifice. After all, it was our home in India, where I had been living ever since I married Anurag. Yes, that is how India in Details was being financed. Anyway, we moved to a rented accommodation and continued our journey. Soon we were blessed with a child, but it also led to more expenditure, more responsibility and more financial hardship. Yes, there were times when we didn't have money even for groceries. We faced such difficult situations that I don't even want to recall them. Only we knew what we were going through. But of course, India and details continued. After selling his house, Anurag sold his car, and eventually the sale of our household furniture in the second-hand market financed the episodes that many of you watched and loved. But those items of household furniture which were sacrificed were not ordinary goods. Some of them were Anurag's favorite self-created furniture designs which he had lovingly created for me as special gifts. Despite all that was going on in our personal lives, our YouTube channel India and Details continued to run as usual. But just when we thought that we had hit the rock bottom, life presented yet another test. Our landlord in India, in a very cruel way, forced us to evacuate his apartment on a very short notice. With a small baby in my arms, and with our remaining household goods literally on the road, without a car, in the scorching Indian summer, we were experiencing exactly what it feels to be homeless. And of course, during all this, in the online world, I was still a popular social media personality running the show on India in Details. But we didn't give up. Anurag worked even harder, created more furniture designs, and more, and even contributed more to India in Details. He gave it all that he had, including every last shred of energy that was left in him, and we made a recovery. Through my work, we know that we have challenged the biased narrative set by the former colonial powers in a way that has never been done before. With the help of many undeniable facts and statistics, we have created many data-driven episodes that encourage critical thinking and logical reasoning. Some of our content has been crafted so well that many university professors would be proud of it. Here is the list of some of the most thought-provoking episodes that I have worked on. Please watch all of them if you can. Yes, we have used our intellect and data to destroy the fake narratives that were built on lies or half-truths. Yes, we have fought for the emotional independence of those who were formerly colonized, and we know that in the process we may have hurt those who want to continue keeping them colonized or enslaved emotionally. Yes, we want to contribute to bringing a more resilient global democratic order with equal participation of all nations, peoples and communities, and we are aware that our work may even challenge the Western leadership of the world. But that is not everything. In India and in Poland, through various guest lectures, I did my best to interact with foreign students to help them understand India better. So committed and devoted was I to this, that on this particular occasion, the fact that I was almost 8 months pregnant couldn't stop me from doing everything that I could to change the way India is perceived. 
This lecture was held in New Delhi. With my educational qualifications and degrees, and with my husband's exceptional talent in furniture designing and the demand for it in the global markets, if we focus solely on our individual careers, we know that we can attain material prosperity much faster. After all, it is India in details that has exhausted our finances and emptied our savings. Even today, ending this project can help us solidify our finances and regain our lost wealth. But of course, material wealth was never our goal and it will never be. As well as a furniture designer, today my husband is also a cameraman, a musician, a web designer and more. For all these years, while I stayed awake for hundreds of nights researching and extracting the data and facts that many of you had never heard of before, it was my husband who was managing our finances, changing diapers and even cooking for the entire family. And yes, he does it all with a smile on his face. As of today, in cumulative terms, my husband remains the biggest financial contributor to this project. And yes, we ask our viewers to contribute financially only because my husband's savings and earnings are not enough to run this massive project which has now become a big mission. And no, we do not want to quit. We will continue this mission because we know that nobody else has done work that we have done. There is probably no one else who can do what we are doing. And even though it might make us homeless again, we are not afraid as long as we have a home in our viewers' hearts. See you again.